Flate, she's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! You were part of her problem! Always trying to take her away from me! Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do! Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Okay. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but... Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about Frank. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? So what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. weird how close they were, but Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. 
That explains a lot. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yes! These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Oh, no. This is not working. Looks like this isn't the right combination. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Hmm. Who does this car belong to?
Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. That's definitely Chloe's car. <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Looks like this is not relevant at all. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oops, bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass.
Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. 